Greetings and salutations, my little chipmunks. I hope that you're doing well. I've got a bit more of a chilled um, intro and layout, man. Like I've got my bed thing pulled out. This is normally like my sofa, it's a sofa bed. And I just thought, you know what? It's late night. I'm gonna watch a bit of a horror for our 31 nights of uh, Halloween. And I'm just gonna be a bit more chilled, a bit more relaxed environment than I normally go for. So today, I'm not even going to go, we've got the box of all the, the movies in that we normally go to, but today we know what we're going to be watching, and it's a movie called Lights Out. Now, I'd seen a picture of this a year or two ago, like a cover, so, and I, again, not seen the trailer, I don't know anything about it, but something that caught my eye was, I think it was James Wan who'd done the Conjuring movies. So I was looking through all the stuff that I've been doing on the channel over this period, like the Halloween period, because I've done Exists, which I keep going on about and I absolutely loved. And I just went down a rabbit hole of directors and stuff like that to try and find some more stuff like that. So I ended up here with Lights Out. Now, from what I can recall, there was a famous YouTube video with a, a lady or a man in bed or something turning off the light in the hallway and someone kept appearing something like that do you remember that video and um i don't know if this is based on that i think that it is maybe this was first or that viral video was first about someone turning the lights and when you turn off the light like this shadow of a person appears you turn the light on they disappear turn it off and then they're closer do you know what i mean like really really creepy and there's a short video or film on youtube about it so i don't know if this is anything to do with that but something in the back of my mind tells me that it is so that's what we're going to be watching today this is a silly idea because it's 10 p.m here in the uk so i'm watching it late night and i'm gonna to have to go to bed here in this spot afterwards so if this is really scary I'm not going to be sleeping and all these lights are going to stay on. <laughs> so you know the rules guys, headphones on, get your drinks ready, phones off, right my phone's off, the lights are all good, they're quite dim. This movie is called Lights Out and now we're going to scare the living daylights out of ourselves. Let's do this guys. We've got them kind of lights here, like um, in our streets. You know, the street lights. Hey, kiddo. Hey, Dad. Are you coming home soon? Yeah, uh, in an hour or so. Where do I know I'm from? That's the geezer from that vampire so, film. With I will be home with you. Batman bloke. That I've seen him in that. Okay. I'll see you soon, buddy. I'll see you soon. Didn't know he was in it. He's a cool dude, I like him. You want anyone on overtime? No, I gotta, uh, I gotta just go ahead and close up. Didn't realize that was a bloody mannequin next to him. Yes, cause that's normal, isn't it? That clothes move on their own. That is a dark warehouse, man. This is what I've seen. That. No, no, no. I don't like that. I'd leave it on. Leave it on, mate. Leave it on. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off, bruv. Very least, maybe maybe you could get her to stop locking herself in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's gonna be like that, isn't it? We call it a call. Ah, oh, there was something in the back room. What do you mean something? Bro, there's a spirit in there, and it. I really gotta deal with this, so just go home, okay? Okay, so I'll be home in about uh, an hour. Does that mean he's gonna get taken out at the bloody beginning? Oi, that scared the hell out of me, you know. <laughs> oh, mate, is it going to be one of them types of horrors? Don't go near the dark, bro. What the hell is that? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, bruv, that's, that's the thing she was talking about, mate. I bet you shared your vampire daughter with you. You son of a bitch! 
What the fuck is that? You're screwed when the lights go out, mate. Right, you made it to your office, but it don't make a difference because it will turn the lights out. All right, baseball bat will do. Oh, that's some. No, 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 come on. I'd stand next to the light switch. Behind you, behind you, behind you. Get, or get back to the wall, get back to the wall. Why aren't you going for the light switch, man? Oh, oh my God, you motherfucker. Oh, yeah, I'm not scared. His eyes are gone. Lights out. Yeah, this is a really good idea to watch this at late at night. This was a big mistake. Well, you lot wanted jump scares. You wanted me to be afraid. Ugh. And if you're laughing at me, jumping up yours, mate. You try, you've got to watch these movies with headphones. And when the jump comes, you feel everything. It's making me appreciate film a lot more. That scared the shit out of me, man. <laughs> you're gonna be okay, you're not a puppy. I thought I was your boyfriend. Boyfriend? You're a booty call, mate. It's been eight months. Really? Eight months? Eight months. Wow. So she's a strong, independent woman. You know, one of these nights, you could let me... That's cold. So close. So why is she throwing him out then? Oh. Oh. Whoa, was that the boy at the beginning? And maybe because he died, she doesn't want someone else. That's what it is. I understand. Oh no, it's gonna be one involving the kid. The demon with the kid, are you having a laugh? I don't want this. Nah, mate. Hey, Martin, what's up? You okay? Yeah, I will be. Just uh, gonna take a bit. Who is she talking to? You gotta go back to bed, sweetie. Okay, the only ones that should be wandering the halls at this hour are grown ups. Yeah, he's looking at her like, what the fuck are you talking about? Your mum's crazy, bro. Good night, Martin. Oh, wow. Your mum's banging a demon. What the hell was that about? I'm with you, mate. Oh, no. You can't be taking the kid. Come on. So what happened? I'm sorry, is Martin okay? He fell asleep in homeroom this morning for the third time in the past week. So the kid's terrified, obviously. Oh, I thought she was the mum. She's not, so she's hey. the daughter and that was the mum. I thought she was the mum. Shows you how bad my eyes are. Maybe you even tried to help her? If you ever want to talk about it, I'm here, okay? Yeah, there's a monster. It was her stepdad that died. So she doesn't want to get involved with men and her mum's a bit crazy, obviously, for the result of the husband dying and the kid's on his own. You should let me stay at your place just for a night. Good luck with that one, buddy. <laughs> Any tips for the moms? Ah, uh, you are not coming in. Come on, why not? Because she's crazy. Man, he gets treated like crap. Someone keeps on coming over. Good, who? Diana. Who's Diana? She isn't real. Okay, I'm not liking that. What are you doing home, little mister? She'll tell you. Oh, I like this actress as well. She hasn't been sleeping. I forgot her name, I like her. She was in Coyote Ugly, that's who she is, that's it. He's packing his bags like rapid. I don't blame him. Oh, get out, mate. It's daytime. You're supposed to not come out in the day. Don't go in there, mate.
Don't like it. I'm gonna have Martin staying with me. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen, Mom. Mm -mm. And you can call me when you're feeling better. I'm ready. Yeah, my guy's like, let's go, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Rebecca. What's going on? We're going home. <laughs> Rebecca, please. Is the monster a manifestation of her pain or suffering or something like that? But then that wouldn't make sense because it was there and it got the husband, doesn't it? So I don't know. You're gonna need that torch, bro. Do you want crust or no crust? Um, yeah, crust is fine. My sister used to like that, and she don't have the crust on the bread. She every time I used to make toast for her as a kid or at breakfast, I had to cut the crust, like the crust around the bread. Women. Rebecca. Yeah. If mom's crazy, does it mean we're crazy too? What a cool little dude, man. I'd look after him. Come stay with me, mate. I'll look after you. Poor little sod. Is it following him around? Hey. What are you doing down there? That's not him, mate. You have to turn the light switch off. Yeah, it's not him. What the heck is it, man? Why ain't it attacking her? Hi, Diane. Now she's going to appear behind you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> nah, bruv. Nah, bruv. Nah, bruv. The light's going to go out. The light's going to go out. Get to the light. Oh, that is one creepy monster, isn't it? Mirror. It's going to come through the mirror. Why am I covering myself? Don't be a pussy. Why do I get this feeling it's him hiding with his torch? Yeah, don't blame him. Like, I don't get why everyone in this world is just like, ah, oh, that's, that's just normal. We normally get demons in the middle of the night. Who is it? You can't do this. Why? Ain't she the sister? I stopped by in person to make sure she was lucid, and she was. To get Martin from her custody requires you to file charges against her. Take her to court. He spent the night with his sister, right? This is a bit dumb. Like, hello, she, he's just stayed at his sister's for the night. So what? It's no big deal, is it? It's okay. I got some sleep. I'll do better tonight. All right, so she's not such a bad sister after all, but she's got to protect him. Kind of reminds me of the movie Darkness Falls where the monster, the tooth fairy, comes out after you and you've got to stay in the light. I love that movie. She was scratching something in the floor. The fuck does it say? Oh, are you pissing me about? Don't tell me it's an imaginary friend. Yep, okay. That's creepy as hell. Diana, that's what it says. So she saw Diana as a kid as well. So it's some sort of monster. Not like that. Still I'm trying to find out about Thank Diana. You. The bitch is real. Yeah, exactly. Who is Diana? Well, that don't look like the sort of house you had in Insidious, does it? Yep, this is definitely a conjuring house. I can't believe I've never heard of this movie, man. It's really, like, cool so far. It's very, very freaky and eerie. And I don't feel comfortable at all. Well, if that ain't a creepy photo. Whatever, I didn't jump. It's just because it's loud noise, whatever. I keep her restraints on. Thank you. Hello, Diana. Keep the lights out. I hear you've been very bad. Hell no. Then why did you hurt her? She was getting better. Listen, 
Uh, what the heck? Yo, Bridging, was she like some sort of mad, crazy, psychopathic child and she disintegrated or some shit? Get out of the dark, mate. Yeah, good idea, good idea. Ah, I ain't gonna sleep tonight, man. Why the hell is there no lights? Nah, why would you go over there? Nope. You okay? What happened? What happened? She was floating in the middle of the fucking air. That's what was happening. I was attacked. And by what? I don't know. I can't explain it. So was it like a sister or something like that who was neglected? Someone who died, maybe? How about a popcorn and movie night tonight? Yes, please. I think a little personal time is just what we need. All three of us. All three of us, yeah, he's like, yeah, okay, fuck you. I want to go and save him. Sometimes the strongest thing to do is just to face your fears. That's what Emma told me. And I'll repeat it, that's what Bob said to flipping Will Byers in Stranger Things. And look what happened to him. Vecna got to him. It's okay, love. What it's are you okay. doing? It's all right. Look at me. Trust me, okay? I'm going to tell you a story. Mom, please. You're nuts. As long as I keep my head clear and you keep the lights out. <laughs> Fuck off. No, don't. <laughs> Your mum is friends with a demon. Fuck you. Your mum's a psycho. How about I just listen? Because I, I still don't know who Diana is. She's, uh... Crap, every time we're about to find out who Diana is, it cuts off. Has he gone to her yard? I hope he has, a little man. Yes, good boy. I feel bad because something's going to happen to the boyfriend and he's just trying to be a good dude. Diana is real. I believe you. I don't know what she is. She doesn't like the light. I love this kid. He's a cool little actor, man. I really like him. He's a cool little dude. She had a very strange skin disorder. She could get inside people's heads. So she's either a demon child or she was like a... Diana only comes around when mom is at her worst. I went through it too when I was your age. So it's connected to being sad and hurt. The doctors tried an experimental treatment on her and she died. I'd say so. She fucking exploded. You know, I think if we can get mom better, get her mind strong again. She'll be and, gone. So it's like a tormented soul, do you know what I mean? She might be evil, but that's quite sad. Diana won't let that happen. Why do you say that? Because that's what my dad was trying to do. It's the food. It ain't. Hey. And out go the lights. Breath. Little man, get your torch. Little man, get your torch. Why would you open it? Get a torch, get a light, get anything. Oh, oh, oh my God. Fuck you, Diana. Go away. Mom, we need to talk. Yeah, you're a crazy fucking bitch. Oh, the pizza looks nice, though. Tell us about Diana. What are you talking about? Your friend, Diana. She was here an hour ago. Yes, she's my friend. And she's trying to kill us, Mum. You are trying to take him away from me again. You're trying to take my son. Oh, God. It's sad because it's about mental health, but she is crazy and she's putting the kids in danger. Mom, we are talking about a dead person. Ghosts aren't real. 
Then what is she? Yeah, what the fuck is she? The thing is, if you take the kid away, what difference is it going to make? Because she's still there, like her, she can still get to him. I'm not here for her. I'm here for you. You're my priority. I can't just leave her. What a cool little dude, man. How long does she usually stay up in her room at night? She doesn't usually come out again until morning. First priority, we put in some safeguards. Yeah, but then Diane can destroy the lights. Good lad, putting torches everywhere. He's a good kid though, wanting to stay there to look after his mum, I'll give him that. Do you want your door open or closed? Closed. Can you sleep in here tonight? Sure. Man, he's gonna stay down there by himself and get killed. Poor sod. Oh, I don't like it. Are you still gonna stay? Unless you say otherwise, yeah. You must think we're all crazy. Yep. You know, I don't think that. Listen, I don't care how much I like a girl. I don't care how much I like her. If her mum is bringing forth demonic forces from the other side, I don't like her that much. The bottom drawer. I will clean it out for you. Seriously. Oh, this is sad because as soon as he's starting to get into a flipping knicker drawer, like she just said. Mm. Okay. What the hell did she just give her? Okay. Oh, fuck. Diana's in there. I need help. I don't think pills is what she meant. I'm really enjoying this film. This is a really good film. Like I said, the lights are gonna start to go out. You need candles, torches, and all sorts. Like I would kind of try and get some sort of help. Like if you've, you're seeing a demon, like I'm surprised they've not tried to go to a priest or something. And the lights go out. Well, she can't affect candles, that's good. Brad? Oh no, she took him. No, he's outside. Shit. Yeah, shit. Let's go down into the basement and try and fix the lights because a demon is messing around. This kid's doing brilliant. He's the star of the show. I'd set fire to the curtains, mate. I wouldn't give a crap. That cat. I'll get your torch, good boy. Why is the torch not... Oh, fuck. Hold it. No! Yeah, well done, mate. Well done, well done. Diane is not very nice, is she? What are you doing? Good boy. What else could it be? I don't know. Trap. Oh. So she's a smart satanic beast. Oh no, my guy's gonna get done. All he ever wanted was to get the bang and move in with her. This is Wells. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, you see it now, bro. Yeah, fuck her. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. No. Get up, bro. Get up. Well done, lad. Well done. She bitch slapped him. And she bust his phone. What a bitch. Oh, that was sick, bruv. I'd find something to just set fire to the house. So, yeah, there's loads of screaming. People might be dead. I'll come out now. Martin? Diana, where are you? You need to tell her to leave. I think it's a very clever, unique concept for this type of movie. I quite, I quite like the idea of it, though. It's quite smart.
But I should have never. She don't want you to take your pills. Understandable, because if she gets better, then Diana disappears. I'm working on a plan. I'm not much help to you. Yes, you are, little man. Where are you going? To take inventory. Keep feeding the fire. Yeah, he's all right. He's by the fire. He's fine. Will that keep her away? Does that still work? <laughs> oh, this is so creepy. Oh my God. That's what I just said. I mean, as scary as she is, and I am jumping a lot, it's actually a really tragic story. So they were both in the mental hospital together and some, something happened to her and she died, which we've got so far. What the heck is that? Mannequins, son of a bitch, you got me. Oh, wow. I take it back, I don't feel sorry for her. She's evil, mate. Oh, wow. Good lad, see? Hero. Little legend. This is wicked, mate. This is such a cool movie. <laughs> what now? Now we're fucked. We need the boyfriend to come back covered in flipping torches or something. You need flashlights. Get back in your car. Oh, well, they're going to be dead then, the cops. He's trying to do the right thing. The cops are going to get killed by her. Keep the light on us. Yeah, there's something there. A fucking demon, mate. Show yourself. <laughs> oh, sugar me. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. What an incredible scene. Get me back up. Officer down. Why aren't they saying it's a demonic monster? Put, where's, where's the other torch? Where's the other torch? <laughs> well, well, the two cops are gone. Get him out of here. No! My coffee! Stay in the light. Is the mum going to have to sacrifice herself or something so they stay together or something? Mum! I would go and get my mum. I would. Stay away or I'll show you where I put your father so she killed the father as well. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's got to hurt. You don't play nice, Diana. Don't hurt. My kids. Mom, she killed Dad. She knows. That won't hurt me. There is no you without me. <gasps> oh, man. Oh, that's terrible, man. <laughs> it was a bit cheesy, saving your lives. It was a bit cheesy, but oh, man. My dude, you was a hero. Well done, man. Oh, shit. It's okay. It's nothing. It's just messing with me. <laughs> right, ladies and gents, that was Lights Out. It was executively produced by James Wan. What did I think of the movie? I'd say that's an 8 out of 10 horror movie. I really, really enjoyed that. That was a really good movie. I can't believe I'd never heard of it before. I can't believe I've never heard of it. That had some really good jump scares and I love the story. I thought the story of the girl Diana being in the mental hospital and the way that she was left on her own and how she became this monster. It was a really, really good horror movie. My only issue with that entire film, my only issue in that entire film was the end. The way the mum done what she did, it was so like, I'm going to be a hero kind of thing. The same outcome could have been there, but it could have been done in a more tragic way to justify it, if you know what I mean. It was a bit too blasé and a bit too like, I'm going to go out like a hero. And that kind of didn't work for me. I think she should have gone out with, there's no you without me. And then she should have just done it. Do you know what I mean? Overall, a really, really good horror movie. And I know it says it was only executively produced by James Wan, but 
I'd put that up there with the Conjuring movies probably better. Like I like the Conjuring movies because of Vera Farmiga and uh, Wilson. Is it Matt Wilson, Scott Wilson? Luke, no, not Luke. I forgot his name, you know the fella who's in it. I like the Conjuring movies, Annabelle and all that stuff. This was really, really good. And I'm thinking to myself, why haven't they done a sequel? Maybe they're making one, or maybe they're leaving it where it is, and I think maybe they should. But that was a really, really impressive movie, and I'm so glad that I found that today. So yeah, I think I'll leave it there. I'll be back again tomorrow for our next horror movie in the 31 Nights of Halloween. So until then, thank you very much for watching. My name is Ramon, this is Hit or Miss TV. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon. Peace.